Hello students, today we are going to start the first chapter of class 6 new NCRT textbook Ganit Prakash. The name of the chapter is Patterns in Mathematics and the first subtopic is What is Mathematics? Mathematics is the search for patterns and for the explanations as to why those patterns exist. So such patterns if you see exist all around us in nature, in our homes and schools, in the motion of the sun, moon and stars. They occur in everything that we do and see from shopping, cooking, throwing a ball, playing games, understanding weather patterns and using technology. So there are patterns everywhere around us. It is for this reason that mathematicians think of mathematics both as an art and as a science. It is important to keep in mind that mathematics aims to not just find out what patterns exist in nature, but also the explanations for why they exist, why all these patterns exist. And such explanations can then help to propel humanity forward. For example, the understanding of patterns in the motion of stars, planets and their satellites, how the stars move, how the planets move, how the satellites move. So this led humankind to develop the theory of gravitation allowing us to launch our own satellite and send rockets to moon and to Mars. Similarly, understanding patterns in genomes. Genomes means that's a complete set of genetic material in a cell that you will learn in biology. So if you have the understanding of the patterns in genomes that has helped in diagnosing and curing disease. So if you see the patterns are everywhere in nature and it is very helpful to understand the patterns and how to make use of these patterns uh, to propel humanity forward. So with this we complete 1.1 that much is given in textbook and then you have two questions uh, under figure it out. The first question is can you think of other examples where mathematics helps us in our everyday lives? So you need to think where mathematics is used. It's in everyday life. So you can just do a little bit of research and find out the answer. And the second question is how has mathematics helped propel humanity forward? So for this some clue is given like uh, carrying out scientific experiments, running our economy and democracy, building houses, bridges, shopping malls, complex structure. For all this, we need the knowledge of mathematics, uh, making electronic things like TVs, mobile phones, computers, bicycle trains. So this you need to answer in your own words. And with this, we complete 1.1. Uh,